some searches on um, Russian online single dating, and I didn't find the handle Exmanazi, so I don't know if lonely Siberian guy is totally appropriate, but um, the rest of this I think is fairly accurate. Uh, at least five to 10, these are conservative numbers. Five to 10 LNR sites come online and offline um, every day of the week. Uh, it's pretty easy to find them, so, so uh, the, the URL list maintained by Google, by Web of Trust, these other sites, usually they update it within a day or two. I have seen, um, of the, I don't know, 100 sites that I was monitoring over the past month, uh, there are at least a handful that were up for two weeks without being added to these lists, um, uh, and which is a bit of a surprise. So let's estimate that there are 35 of these uh, Eleanor sites that are coming online a week, and let's very conservatively estimate that one of these guys are new customers. So version 1.4.1 is being bought, bought every week. Um, 15 of them are old and stolen, and I, what I mean by that is, um, and I didn't completely explain 1.4.1 just yet, but a feature that he added to that product um, is uh, 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 URL binding. And so when you buy this exploit pack for $2,000 right now, you can only use it on one URL, and one domain in particular. Um, any rebinding of a domain is an extra 50 bucks, which in my mind, this is a pretty nice business model for Exponazi. Um, the older versions, 1.3.2, 1.2, uh, uh, the older versions didn't carry this URL binding feature, which is really just a feature for him. So I'm saying 15 are old and old are stolen. Um, some of the older versions also uh, were posted by fellow exploit writers who bought the pack and really wanted to smear what Exmanazi was doing um, and just release it for free online. Um, so 20 of them are new bindings, 1.4.1. Uh, at $2,000 a pop and $50 for new bindings, that comes to about $3,000 a week. And uh, over the course of three months, that's $36,000. Now, I don't know the, I was trying to talk to a few people about the, the annual income of a, a lonely Siberian developer, and uh, this is probably pretty good money. Um, so the financial incentive uh, here is pretty key for an ongoing development for these exploit pack uh, authors. Um, version 1 was fairly inexpensive, it was around 560 bucks. It came with a pretty long list of exploits, and again, the PDF ones, the PDF exploits themselves are probably the most effective over the past two years. He added some uh, Microsoft components, and um, an interesting thing here is that usually this stuff is not zero day. He's getting the exploits from Millworm, he's getting uh, the exploits from some of these uh, the underground forums that I listed, uh, before, like capcom.net, and then he just kind of rehashes it and uh, pops it into his JavaScript obfuscator and uh, sells it for two thousand bucks. So again, you're not getting, uh, you're not really getting a whole lot of innovation, or I should say, uh, creativity for your money when you're buying one of these kits. Um, you're kind of getting rehashed work. Um, finally, in version 1.4.1, he's charging two thousand dollars, and he's got uh, Windows 7 covered. Um, and I wanted to uh, sort of, uh, sorry if you can't read that, I wanted to um, cover what his customers' uh, opinions were of him copying and these other exploit kit authors copying each other's works. And, um, you know, for the most part, they find uh, a lot of respect for the author. It's no problem for these guys to copy. Um, the people are still willing to pay $2,000. Here's another customer of his, of his saying, and if the author of something and if I'm from someone else's code, I don't think it's shameful, sometimes it's just easier. So I don't think um, the, the development of this product is going to uh, come to an end because of a lack of interest or demand. Um, more recently, uh, a Java 2 exploit came out. Um, a guy by the name of Tevz, uh, um, talked to Sun Oracle for about three or four, well, three weeks, and he pointed out that they left an uh, undocumented uh, parameter in the Java runtime. Um, this is probably the easiest exploit, uh, lamest exploit I've seen in a long time. Um, basically, you can kick off an arbitrary ex uh, executable of your choosing, and right here at fintrust.biz, this was a a live site just a week ago, so um, I wouldn't visit that site.
site right now. Uh, passing it these uh, command line parameters to download and execute arbitrary code uh, is, is pretty extraordinarily easy with this exploit. Um, and of all of the exploits that I've uh, tested of his from, say, 40 or 50 sites, um, this is the only one that does run on Windows 7 64 bit. So he does, he does market uh, a lot of his exploits as effective against Windows 7, and it's not true, which is fairly surprising, although he's doing freelance QA work. Um, but this one is, is effective, and he is attacking uh, win, Windows 7 64 bit effectively with it, um, which is notable. Um, so one of the more interesting events uh, that occurred in the past uh, month or so was the U.S. Treasury website compromised. Um, it was most likely compromised by a, a SQL injection automated toolkit. Um, these uh, three, UR, or three domains were affected by the attack and they all redirected to grepad.com, which redirected users to an Eleanor exploit pack online. Um, and so I thought uh, I'd take a look into exactly what the distributors of X Eleanor got for the only when they attacked the website. Um, and when, when you run the numbers, the Treasury website really is not all that popular. It's a pretty low-ranked uh, government website. But it attracts a lot of attention when you attack the website response or the organization responsible for dealing with counterfeiters and is related to the US Secret Service. So they got about, at the most, they got 180 new victims in the day. That's really not a lot of cash if, um, if you assume that there's an 18% piercing rate that this guy uh, advertises for his exploit kit. Um, so the notoriety, on the other hand, of exploiting the uh, or compromising the treasury site and redirecting users to your own kit uh, has a pretty high value. 